Good morning, CarolinaRealtyWorld.com. Todd Long. It is 7:27 in the morning, and my real estate day has started. I am editing some videos this morning and um, posting them on our Facebook channel, our YouTube channel, our vlog at CarolinaRealtyWorld.com. Yeah, doing 30 videos in 30 days without having an assistant means that I am a completely, not only the video editor, but the video poster. So, start early, get these things done, and now show a property here pretty soon. Another thing I forgot to mention, we will shoot our 100th video blog post today, which is kind of exciting. Um, right in the middle of our 30-day challenge that Debbie and I are on, so stay tuned. All right, I'm on the road heading, well, let me recap or tell you what's going to happen today in my real estate life. I'm heading to Statesville for a 9 o'clock appointment to show a, an investor client the property they're under contract on as of two days ago. And uh, they just want to do a walkthrough of the property. Most of my investor clients typically do their own inspections. Not something I encourage people to do if you're buying a home to live in. <laughs> but um, these guys are rehab people. So um, I actually might do a series with them. They're buying several properties through me. Some for rehab and resale. People call that flipping sometimes. Um, and then they are buying some that are going to be rental properties. This particular one is going to be a rental property. Getting a really good deal on it. Um, there's some functional obsolescence type things he needs to fix. But once he does that, it'll be a really good rental property. So, heading to Statesville to do that. Got a sign to drop off at a listing. Then heading to Concord to meet a buyer to sign some paperwork um, I'm double ending a deal this buyer called on one of my listings and I am working the buy side and the list side so then I get to go track down my seller client which might be a little bit of a challenge because one of them's in a nursing home and the other one has doctor's appointments today so we'll see how that goes and I'm trying to get back to more full by noon because we're having our office Thanksgiving lunch, which is always a good time. Um, my office, especially at Keller Williams, is uh, very much a family type atmosphere, and we like hanging out together. This is something uh, we all enjoy every year, is doing the Thanksgiving lunch together. Uh, Debbie is in charge of finding us something to bring to the lunch. <laughs> she is also um, out today doing some networking, and and tonight we have the Rotary Foundation Banquet. She was Rotary President for uh, Cornelius Rotary last year and um, we're attending the Foundation Banquet, which again is also a good networking opportunity for us in real estate. That's one thing Debbie does and does well is networking for business. She's very good at getting out and meeting people and um, getting face to face with people. So. When they have a real estate need, they see her out and about and see that she's busy in real estate. I think that is all that is planned for today. The one thing I've learned about real estate is your day never goes as planned. We'll talk to you soon. All right, I just stopped at McDonald's for a biscuit. <laughs> and the reason I'm sharing this is um, I scooped up the exact amount of correct change out of my change holder in my car to pay for my meal <laughs> like the exact amount it's gonna be a lucky day all right we're pulling in to my buyer clients new rental purchase they just went under contract a couple days ago doing a walkthrough inspection I don't think I can tell you what they're buying this for but they're getting a really good deal 
and I will say that part of that is because I um, did some research and figured out this property has been on the market for quite a while. Um, did some research, called the agent, asked some questions I thought were really good questions and found out um, that there were some reasons that it had been on the market for a while and there was some motivation on the seller's part. So got them a good deal on this. This will make a real good rental. Um, we'll see if he wants to share any more details on that. Talk to you in a minute. Getting the place unlocked. Realtor. I always try to get here a little early, open up for my client. So, and I also always say, Realtor, when I walk in, even though I know it is a vacant home, because I've, I've had one time when it wasn't vacant. It was supposed to be vacant, and it wasn't. They went out the back door, which was good. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Good morning. Longer sheet right out the window. Yeah, no, but you put a wall here underneath this. You saw a wall, drywall, siding on it. You put some bifold doors right here. You have your washer, dryer, shelf for laundry detergent. All right, it's 10:38. I'm running late. <laughs> so did I mention that? One thing you can always count on in real estate is your day won't go exactly as planned. Well, um, got over to show this investor the property that they're buying as a uh, rental. And uh, they asked if they could go see the property they just went under contract with that they're going to fix up and flip on Davy Avenue in Statesville, which is going to be an awesome property when they get it finished but the wife Kate had not seen that property yet so we went by there and then uh, that would have gone pretty quick but I let Greg know that I am coming across some brand new stainless steel uh, nice appliances that he may want to use for that property so pretty much talked through the rehab of the kitchen and the re how things would move around I want the appliances that are in there because they're uh, kind of starter appliances that I'm doing a remodel on one of my rental properties coming up so figure that would be a good trade um, for that so anyway running late trying to get Concord and then I gotta get to my seller's house before they um, leave to go to their doctor's appointments I don't think I'm going to make lunch at the office. All right, meeting complete with the buyer of my property in Concord. First time I met with her face to face. So, um, spend a little bit of time getting to know her, what's going on. I got the uh, buyer's agency agreement signed, the offer to purchase signed, the professional services disclosure, the rest of the form. And we have a lot of paperwork. <laughs> um, we talked through uh, who she wants to use for a closing attorney. We made a call to the um, zoning department for Concord because there's a building she's going to build on that property. Um, and I'm off. Off now to meet with my seller. Actually, dropping off the paperwork for my seller. And I'm gonna highlight where the wife needs to sign because she's not available today and then I'll have to get that back from them because I need to get back over towards Mooresville. Woo! Day in the life. So something else happened today I forgot to mention. I went back by a 
buyer's house to pick up an earnest money check uh, that we're going to deposit for their upcoming closing and their father was actually there and he was telling me he's got a property that is a couple of acres it's a rental property but it's a couple of acres and part of it is light industrial so he wants me to run some numbers that he might split off the light industrial part and sell it and just keep the rental property so got that on my list to get that done sometime in the next day or so probably won't be tonight since we're heading to the foundation banquet uh, later this evening uh, but yeah the lead for today Woo! we like more leads on real estate you know anybody's looking to buy sell or invest in real estate make sure you give me a call we will help them out all right on with the day all right it's 248 still in concord got the contract delivered to the sellers for them to sign and then in the meantime after that found out finally got a hold of city of concord zoning they were having their holiday party today by the way their thanksgiving party um and gonna have a little delay we thought we were gonna try to close this deal between this buyer and seller by the end of the year december 28th but come to find out we have some work to do because the parcel is split zoning part of it is commercial and part of it is residential which is really strange because the um it's, it's a it's not a very big parcel so <laughs> we have to go through a rezoning process to get it rezoned to c2 and because of the holidays the earliest we can get on the hearing schedule is february the 20th which means that for the 15 day upset bid period the around march 6th will be the earliest we can actually close on the parcel for the buyer and the seller so did i mention before i i think that last video got cut off i got a telephone call from i was in my travels i usually make some calls to potential prospects and people that uh, might be interested in doing some business and i got a call back from one of them which uh, may work out to be something but anyway all done with running for real estate today Getting ready to walk in and get changed so that we can go to the foundation banquet tonight. We'll probably do a video from there. Alright, it is 4.54. Yes. We both got home after our first half a day in real estate. That's right. And did a quick change and now we're off to dinner but yes. a specific dinner at the Rotary Foundation Banquet at the Ballantyne Hotel. It should be a good yeah. meal. Actually. Yeah, it should be really nice. Yeah. Ballantyne Hotel is a very nice hotel right? in Charlotte, North That'd Carolina. That'd be a good networking opportunity. See some people yes. that influencers in the world. Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't know exactly how many they're expecting tonight, but it should be a really good crowd. And they invite spouses and partners to come. And we will be at district, our district is 7680, and we'll all come together tonight, have a good meal, and... What is the Foundation Banquet about? Oh, the Foundation, will we're gonna be promoting the Foundation tonight, and we have a special speaker, I'm not sure who it is, wasn't on that committee. The Foundation itself, the Rotary Foundation, is the nonprofit arm within Rotary that provides so many different um, avenues of service, whether it's to eradicate polio, which we almost have worldwide, or to provide clean water to different countries that need it. Um, there's educational opportunities. There's just so many things. And we'll actually, we'll, we'll talk to someone at the banquet tonight and get some more information on that. Good idea. Yeah. All right, so the day in real estate continues. Yes. Well into the night. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good night. Yep. If we can get there through the traffic. Right. <laughs> Thank you.